Hey guys, welcome back to Croc Legend of the Gobbles. And we are in. Uh, what level is it? I can't remember what level it is. Oh, Darkness Descends, that's right, I completely forgot to, is it as it popped up there. But anyway, yeah, this level, a uh, lot. It's getting darker now. It's getting much darker. Imagine that you're travelling through the land, the time is getting on, stuff is happening. <laughs> but basically, uh, nothing much changed in this level again. It's just introducing more bits. Give it a basic here. Don't smash that crate. Don't smash the crate. Smash the crate. You lose. You gotta go above. Go above. And there's two actually both these crystals up here. They are both the red and green uh, crystals. So uh, without going with break, if you break that box before you are meant to, you ain't going anywhere. You, you ain't gonna get 100% of this level. You're gonna start again. At least. Uh, yeah, I don't know what was what with that, where that gangster voice came from. Then. But at least you know, um, if you uh, you know if you have to start again, it's right at the start of the level. It's 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 not the end of the world, is it? it really, isn't the end of the world. I'm trying to think of my mic's I'm gonna get used to this new mic, this headset mic. Oh, my back is killing me. I'm hunched over my laptop. With this problem. Anyway, monkey bars actually they're new, aren't they? We haven't seen Yonky Bars yet, they're pretty easy, you jump at them, you grab on them, you swing. Although don't go near that yellowy area of the Monkey Bars, you'll probably just fall right off. But uh, anyway, so this is another little mini game, very simple to do. The crate will run away from you, run it into a wall and it will bounce back at you. Jump up, jump on, slam down. It's pretty simple actually. It, 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 if you, once you know that trick, it's uh, very easy to get by him. But if you don't know that trick, you start just flailing about crazily and not really knowing what to do. But uh, eh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Once you know that trick, there you see, that's the easiest mini game in the entire in the entire game. Really, it's not even really a mini game if you can call it that. It's just a chase the box kind of situation. But uh, yeah, be fine. These these become very prominent later on in levels. I think. There's a secret level down there, bonus level, but uh, there's on one of these things, but it's one of those things where do you want to risk it and lose a life? Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, these floating platforms constantly appearing, constantly falling off at the same time. You can usually time yourself with the noises uh, to get it to jump down, so when you know there's one coming to jump on, but uh, it's up to you. You can, you can take it slow normally. Uh, those two crystals over there, over there, when you beat them. This is quite a short level, I think. It's not, there's not, it's not massively long. I mean, most of these levels have been pretty short anyway, but uh, there's not massively long levels. Uh, they don't, you know, they don't take that long. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, climb over a wall. We've climbed, we've climbed, we've climbed walls in this second level before. I remember playing that second level before, hunting around. Well, when I first played it, and be like, where the hell is this? You know, where the hell are these last few things that I need? And, uh, and then it was like, hey, they're over here. I was like, oh yeah, they are over here. You've got to climb that wall. How interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, in all fairness, climbing walls, you don't really do that much, actually. I think, I only. Do you do it a lot? You don't do it too much, you know, from what I remember. I don't think in the fourth world there's any. The third world, they're very sparing. I think the, the most they're in is this first world here, but... Anyway, this is quite interesting. There's a secret up here. You think you'd always jump on this jelly to get up there, but if you miss the other crystals, I guess uh, what's up here is the fourth and fi uh, fourth, the fifth and final crystal. You need the uh, purple crystal. Ching! And uh, then obviously I've got to hit the lava because you've always got to hit the lava. Got to give the lava some love. Without the lava, love in the world. Without lava, there wouldn't be love in the world. Don't know, don't know how that makes any sense. Uh, that wall looks fake, but it's not. You can jump in it. I didn't know this either. I remember coming in here first time I got all the crystals, and I was like, "Yes, right, let's get the final gobble of this level." I was like, "Where the hell do I go?" And I just tail whipped out. I, was like, I must have missed something. And even that, but anyway. So swimming. Now, obviously, as you're a crocodile, well, oh, not obviously as you're a crocodile. Crocodiles do have to come up for air, but they can sustain underwater for quite a while. And in this game. Indefinitely, you don't. There's no air pockets, no bubbles to grab. This isn't. Oh, that music haunts my dreams from Sonic games. It really does. It really haunts my dreams. But um, yeah, you don't have to worry about air. It's just uh, making sure you don't die due to the really bad control scheme. Um, it's sort of you push a, uh, you push the X, I think it's the X button to uh, swim, and if you hold it after you pushed it, you sort of do a little doggy paddle, which is a lot easier to control in terms of movement. But uh, very slow, very slow indeed. So uh, it's up to you, really, which way. I just like to go with the massive X button movements. And uh, obviously, you can tail whip. But uh, there wasn't any reason there, so we didn't need to tail whip. Wait until you fight the boss that's completely underwater. That's. 
That boss. I think I broke a control of playing that boss. Uh, I think I did. But anyway, that's it. Level complete. Job done. It's the final level. All, all the gobbles got so far, so we will be going on to a secret level after we beat Flibby. Yeah, Flibby is the boss of this world. Uh, the big boss. Uh, fight night with Flibby. Uh, obviously, we got a nice little cutscene of how Flibby comes to be. Baron Dante taking a walk in the park. There's a little ladybird. Oh, look at the cute little ladybird. Has he mellowed out? Has he decided evil is not the way to go? No. He just thought, magic! Did he magic the boxing gloves on? Or do all ladybirds always have boxing gloves on? Think about it. Think it through. Just don't know, do we? We just don't know. Of course we know they don't. Have them. Well, they might have boxing gloves on. Who's wants to say a ladybird doesn't fight for the right to party? Uh, now, I think under that rock there, you can stomp that rock. And there's a secret thing under it. Uh, again, I don't care. Lies in this game, literally. I don't, there's no point to lies in this game. Uh, not much of a point, anyway. I'm gonna yawn! <laughs> God damn it, I thought I could get away with an episode not yawning. I always seem to yawn in every single one of my videos. Yeah, oh, it never, I never got as well why the enemies in this game always return. Uh, I'm trying to think if it's something to do with the magic or something like that. I mean, like, take a game like Spyro, for instance. Where you, uh, you have, like, um, every enemy you kill is a gem. And the point is, in the first game, Ganesti uh, Ganork, I think it was. <laughs> you don't say the G, but I do. I don't know why. He transformed all the gems into enemies and bad guys. So, that made sense. And then they spat out little silver balls afterwards. The remnants of something. I, I don't really want to know what the remnants of. But you know what? These guys are just are they pure magic. Are they like little creatures that he brings back from the dead? Are they dying every time? I'll leave you with that philosophical note as we take on this giant ladybird. A uh, pretty easy boss. But all the bosses are pretty easy in this game. Just run around to the takes the swing and he'll get out of breath. Hit him and then you have to stomp his chest. Now I didn't know that. Okay. Just hitting him loads of times. Can't do it, can't do it. And I realised you could jump on him and stomp his chest. But you can only do it when he's down on his back. Uh, so in this second motion, he'll do two moves. If he hits you, he'll do this little cheery motion. You can't hit him during that. That's his like victory in vulnerable pose. But he'll do two things. If he ever hits you, say if he's doing this two-hit move, you skip. But you miss the first move to get hit by the second move. But you've still got to dodge the second, the first move again to get hit. Uh, that's the second hit. And so this third section, he'll do three moves. This crazy haymaker. Where is it? Yeah. How he thinks that's going to hit me, I don't know. But he's able to turn on the sixpence, so I'll give him that. Uh, the old fist slap, and then the single jab. It just misses. Uh, out of breath again. Get hit by him for some reason, because I'm a fail at life. And then jump in his chest and stomp him out of existence. Yeah, look at that stomp. Look at that powerful stomp. I wiped you from the face of the... Nah, I did. Just returned to the ladybird form. Yep, off he goes. Croc's like, sup ladybird, and the ladybird's like, I like your nails, I got your nails. That's the rest of the game by the way, we try to hunt down Croc's nose that the ladybird's stole, and screw saving King Gobbo. Who needs to save the King Gobbo? Croc needs his nose. Anyway, secret level! Woo! God, that was far too energetic for this type of commentary. <laughs> it's really late at night as well, oh, so whatever. Anyway, this is uh, the Twisty Tunnels. Again, another secret level, just blast through it, literally. Nothing to worry about, not a care in the world. Just want to run through this, grabbing some crystals if you want. Gold keys up here for that little secret extra area at the end with a few, just a few hearts in. You really don't need any of this, any of this stuff. You, just, you, can, you can pretty much go through this. In fact, this game could probably be completely pretty too quickly if you wanted to. I wonder if there's a speed run through it somewhere. I'll have a look at that. Get back to you with that. Get back to you on the speed run. Uh, I do like the speed runs of some of these games. Always the speed demos archive has loads of speed runs of loads of games, and uh, they're all you know. Obviously, Jesus. I watched some of their. Uh, uh, if you ever really like speed games and stuff like that, you know they do the chariot math and speed demos have started doing them, and they do the games really quickly, which is really interesting to watch. Some of the, some of the. Uh, not cheats, some of the glitches, some of the skills, some of the techniques. Really interesting to watch. Uh, I especially like watching some of the old 2D shooter games where it's like pixel perfect dodging just to save the most amount of time. It's it's something else really. It was really impressive to watch. I wish I was that good at any sort of game, but I'm not. I uh, really don't. I'm not even good at really any RPGs. I just get through them. 
with brute force instead of skill, but uh Anyway, so as you can see up here, uh, jump on this, platform raises, gold key doors over there if you want some extra lives, but I'm just going to skip that, grab the puzzle piece, and that'll finish out this episode. So, uh, yeah, grab, the, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, god I'm bad at this. Anyway, so that's a round of this episode, uh, two puzzle pieces down, one world down, and the next time we'll be going on to the ice world. But until then, this has been Colesnead, catch you on the flip side. Buh.